Hey everybody, it's Crazy Fango Shime. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be watching the second episode of Outlander Season 5. So as you guys saw in my first reaction, I did enjoy the episode. I didn't love it, but I enjoyed it because lots of people were saying I loved it, but I enjoyed it. I'm slowly easing back into it. And yeah, again, it was a good episode, but there were some things I did comment about and I know some people didn't really like it, but that's my opinion again. So, but anyway, we're going to jump right into this episode because I'm excited to watch it and I'm prepared. I have soup, two different types of soup. Don't worry, I'm not like sick sick. I just like had like a bit of a cold, but, and it's not the coronavirus. Please don't go saying that around because I don't have it. I, I just had a small cold because I washed my hair and I didn't dry it properly. So literally I've just been drinking lots of soup. This is Russum and this is some... Um, packet soup my mom gave me that's really tasty but I don't know what it is um but anyway let's just jump straight into this because I'm very excited but before that please remember to like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more tv shows video games and movies so without further ado let's just jump straight into this Oh, God. <sighs> it's hard. Oh, I like that. It's hard when I see people see someone they love die in front of them because, um. I watched my grandpa pass away in front of me when I was 12, and I can understand the feeling well enough what it feels like to lose someone like that when you can't do anything. Um, unfortunately, he had pancreatic cancer and it was in the latest stages and we didn't even know but he lived a very long life and he died at 92 but <sighs> god damn <laughs> to cultivate the land try and granted you a confirmation of your loyalty to king and country mm. you brought men and women together your gathering is proof of that hell yeah thank you please be on this side Please just don't go looking for Murtaugh. Perhaps when we catch Fitzgibbons and see him hanged. Perhaps then the governor would be so kind. God damn it. I spoke too soon. Oh god. <gasps> no. I'm eating too, Claire. It's one of the most straightforward procedures you can do. But are you playing God? This is something I said in the trailer reaction too. Hell yeah. <sighs> Who is it? Is Mur Murta might be there, right? He's gonna do something. <gasps> oh! Oh no! No! That's why they showed them in the preview! Soldier's death, really? Ugh. Can't believe I felt sorry for you for a moment. Eh, speak for yourself, mate. Well, in a way, Jamie did, but he's got mixed feelings about that. Murta understands that. At least he's respectful of the choice that he made. Or break some rule of space and time. True. Isn't this playing God? 
Again, like I said, sure. Oh no. <gasps> Does Roger know that it was Bonnet? God, him. What the fuck? The fuck? Oh no! Ah, oh, that scene reminded me because uh, I kind of have a crush on the actor right now, so that's why I went and watched like all his stuff, and it reminded me of Game of Thrones, where Oberyn Martell, that sexy beast, um. Oh, he got his eyes gorged out and squashed his brain. That literally, as that scene happened, I was like, fuck, no, 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 no not again. Oh, Lord. Ew. Um, but yeah, I have a crush on Pedro Pascal at the moment. Not gonna lie. This episode, I, again, it's a little bit all over the place, these sort of episodes, but I'm still actually quite enjoying it. Um, I like the fact, it was, I, I will say that the whole Doctor part was dragged out quite a bit. Obviously, to fill in the space of this episode. But I do like the fact that Claire is trusting Marsley with, like, being her apprentice and teaching her. Because even I've thought to an extent, Marsley is very, very intelligent. And if given the opportunity to do something, she will do it. So I think that's really good of Claire to do it because she knows that Brianna won't do it. Because Brianna doesn't obviously have the stomach for it. But Marsley, she does because she's obviously from that time. She's obviously a woman who gets her hands dirty and does all, you know, like, cutting the goat and stuff like that. So that was a clear example that Claire, like, saw and she was like, oh, this is the person I need to work with. So that was good on Claire to do that. But again, the whole thing with Claire, just jumping to Claire's, like, thing... She is definitely playing God, and that's definitely risky. Not in the sense of history anymore, because I guess we've seen that even with these um, instances where she's tried to change history, it doesn't necessarily change it because the events still happen. So I reckon, like, it's still quite dangerous to play God because in that time period, you know, and an example is those women doing the candlestick stuff. Um, they all have their minds set on one way, unlike, you know, for example, in modern times, we're open for change a little bit, <laughs> but we're open to new suggestions and new cures and stuff like that. Um, but unlike back then, they're very set on, you know, for example, when a male doctor says something, they'll be like, okay, he, he knows what he's doing. The woman doesn't know what she's doing. Like, she has ideas, but she doesn't know what she's doing. So I think that was good that they showed that because even though Claire kept saying, like, you know, I'm going to change it, I'm going to change it. I'm glad that they put that example of how she may not be able to change it because of the fact that these women and even the men have this mindset that's been, you know, integrated into their culture and, like, life for so long. So, you know, obviously she comes along, she's an English woman, she's got education, and she's a she's a doctor but and a surgeon. But, you know, it's still quite dangerous because she's a woman and people could, you know, they could easily threaten her, etc. So that is quite scary and, oh, Jamie's situation. I'm coming to terms with it because I think now, especially after what Murder said... Especially after what Murta said, it's like I've come to respect both sides because, you know, Jamie obviously has this one problem where, you know, he can lose his family, his whole like life that he's created for his whole family. And he also has to look after all the people he has on his land. And then Murta, he obviously is doing what is right in his own way and what he thinks is right, which is, you know, protecting the regulators, um... And protecting the people who want to obviously make a change. But the thing is, like, I love that Jamie and Murta have come to respect each other's, like, thing. 
But I love how Myrta and Jamie have come to respect each other's fight. Not the fact that they're fighting each other, but they're respecting each other's ideas and what they're fighting for. So that's something I'm really happy to see. Um, I can't remember the soldier's name who's hanging out with Jamie the Redcoat, but... Ah, uh, I I have mixed feelings for him because it because he changes very quickly. Like he'll be like really like you know I'm so sorry that I did this blah blah, and then he'll instantly be like oh wait I like for example with the death of that soldier he was like oh I gave him a soldier's death like that's what he deserves, and then the others are gonna be hanged like this blah blah blah. And I was like okay mate no I'm, I like I keep going up and down and I keep agreeing with him so that's annoying. And oh the whole thing with Steve and Bonnet, Jesus Christ that's like who. I hate him. When I saw him, and obviously when you look back and watch it, and I'm going to see it, but my face just dropped and I was like, oh no. And um, in all honesty, I'm still not too like keen on Roger and Brianna, you know, that romance. I've never really liked it. You guys know that. But um, I'm excited to see kind of like what happens with Roger because, you know, he has, like everybody was saying in the comment section of my other video, that, you know, he passed Joe Caster's, um test of, you know, being a father, even though it's not his son, you know, I'm worried now that he's going to, oh, yeah, it makes more sense now, because, you know, if Stephen Bonnet comes along, you know, in his rich clothes, in his rich stature, you know, Roger might be like, oh, shit, like, you know, he might be the father, so he might be better off because he's more rich. So, oh, and then Roger might leave. So that's a bit scary. I don't want Roger to leave, even though I don't really like the romance between Brianna and Roger. And especially leave her with Bonnet because, oh. Nah, but if Brianna sees him, she will kill him because, you know, you see her with the gun and stuff, she will definitely kill him. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Outlander. I, again, enjoyed it. It was a bit, like, strung out a bit in certain parts and it did get a little bit boring like you know you probably heard me like eating my soup and stuff like that but it was a good episode of Rely I will say that and I do I did kind of like it after like the first 20-30 minutes after that I did enjoy it because it was a little bit boring and then it got a little bit more interesting especially after the part where Claire kind of like told Marcy about being her apprentice like that's I think after that it got really really good I'm excited to see what else happens can you guys see Milo? <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm excited to see what else happens in the rest of the episodes that are coming. I know that season, not season, sorry, episode three, a lot of people are saying there's some weird shit in it. Like, I haven't heard a lot about it, but a lot of people saying it's very creepy. So I was like, uh, okay. So looking forward to it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!